This is me with a football that's supposed to come back to you when you kick it. A spray that adds super glue to your goalie gloves. A football specifically engineered for extra swerve. And machines specifically designed to wash football socks. Pointless football products like these are everywhere, but the crazy thing is, nobody actually knows if they work or not. So today I wanted to find out if these pointless products are actually pointless. Starting with an Arsenal toaster. It looks like the catch here is that it prints on the bread AFC, so it like kind of brands the toast. That's quite cool. But can I get it for any other clubs? Uh, no. Okay, it looks like it's just Arsenal they're doing. Okay, that's fine. I just can't let mum or dad see this. Otherwise, the adoption centre will be receiving a new applicant. I can't film this in the kitchen in case I get caught by my parents, so we're in the bedroom instead. But anyway, here's the toaster. Here's some bread. Let's, uh, let's make some toast. Oh, it's done. I mean, did it work? It's, oh, it's hot. Oh, wait, wait, that's actually kind of sick. I wasn't expecting it to come out as well as this. That's actually exactly how it looked in the ad. A uh, 9 out of 10. Would have been a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't Arsenal themed. It's also important to note, I have a history with a lot of these items. See, the most viewed video I've ever made is a short where I make fun of the most pointless football products. But in that video, I didn't actually buy them. I just found pictures of them on the internet and bad mouthed them to 13 million people. And I've always felt kind of bad about it. Maybe I was being too harsh on them. So I knew I had to try them for myself to see if I was wrong. The foldable football. So I guess it just comes like this and then you build it into the football okay yeah and then the idea is that it's like safe to kick around the house and not break anything okay we get the idea though there there is potential here i can i can feel it but first we need to build the football I mean, it's definitely not as round as I was expecting. It's like kind of sea urchin shaped. That's such a weird comparison. <laughs> okay, so in order for this thing to pass a test, I need to be able to kick it into that blue bucket back there. But surrounding the bucket, we have a PS5, a monitor, a MacBook, and a Pedro Pascal signed Mando poster. All very valuable items to test if this is as indoor friendly as it claims to be. See all of these little like fold bits. They're sharp enough to smash that. Broken. The ball is just so unround, it's so difficult to control. Oh, it's the PS5, it's the PS5. Not even a scratch. Oh, it's hit the back right on the screen. Okay, it's undamaged. That counts. That counts. I don't care. I've been doing this for way too long now. Four? Nah, five out of ten. Didn't break anything. Sock washer. Okay, so it just looks like this small kind of tub thing. And I guess you just stuff your dirty socks in here and it just cleans them for you. I'm struggling to see the advantage here. Okay, here, so it's supposed to save more water than washing by hand and it's more convenient than using a machine. What? How is that more convenient? Okay, well, here's the sock washer. But first, I need to get this very clean pair of socks nice and muddy. Well, that should do it. So according to the instructions, all I need to do is put the socks in, put in some washing liquid, and then just fill it up with water. Then if I just press the on button, Um, the instructions say it will take about uh, 15 minutes, so I guess I'll just uh, see you then. Okay, let's see if this has worked. I'm really not sure what to expect when I even open this. Like, is it just going to be completely clean or is it going to be half clean? Uh, I mean, it, it, it hasn't done anything. They're just soggy and, uh, and grey and brown. I mean, I might as well not even have put them in there. I mean, can I give negatives? Minus four out of 10. Glove gripper. So you just spray it on your gloves and then yeah, it just makes them nice and, nice and grippy. Well, I'm playing goal anyway. So I mean, this could actually be quite useful. I mean, is this like, 
Is this legal? I mean, would I get would I get banned if I use this? Okay, I'm on the way to football with the beloved Ripper. Basically, what I'm going to do is play one half in goal just without it, and then I'm going to apply it at half time and see if I can see more or less with it on or off. Managed to take a camera behind the goal, which is pretty fun, but the entire first half without the glove grip went pretty much as expected. Made a save or two, but then I also let one in near the end. So then at half time, it was time to apply the grip. Straight away, I noticed my gloves became a lot more sticky. It definitely helped with stuff like throwing and catching, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference to your actual performance. And even with on, I was still conceding just as normal. Six out of 10, it definitely works, but I'm not sure if it's legal and it can't fix the fact I'm sh Anyway, Ben Foster wishes he was me. The boot scraper. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. Beautiful day of Sunday league football. Oh, time to clean my boots. This was after five minutes of scraping. It hardly does anything. Oh, two out of 10. Just use your hands, man. The swerve ball. Okay, so this is the one that the F2 use, but they're like actually good. I want to see what this would be like in the hands of someone with a bit less swags. Okay, it definitely doesn't swerve as much as I thought it would. I can't help but feel that if I side footed it instead of hit it dead center, then it would have a lot more swerve. I think it's a pretty realistic idea. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's the one. Uh, five out of 10, it's fine. Just not enough swears, to be honest. Football, toilet paper. Obviously I had to get Arsenal on there too because that is what I think of them. But yeah, I guess I, I uh, have to test it now. <laughs> Actually, you know, not bad. Honestly, to any one of you watching this right now, buy one of these of your rival clubs on it. It is the most dignifying experience of your life. Eight out of 10, the football belt. So it looks like you can just strap one half to your waist, the other to the ball, and then you could just kick it as hard as you like and it will always just come back to you. So I'm guessing this is just for like people who have nobody to play football with. Huh, imagine being this lonely. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what I need to do. Just whack it. Just whack it as hard as I can and see if it snaps. It works. Guys, this thing is actually so much fun. I ended up just staying with the camera rolling for like 10 minutes, just kicking the ball back and forth, which is kind of sad. But hey, I was having fun, all right? I actually took it back home and just spent more time with it. Look at my smile, okay? Okay, this was nice. This was a nice moment. It made me realize that I was way too harsh on these products in my short. Yeah, they may be pretty impractical, but most of them are still enjoyable. I mean, that's just as important, right? Well, I mean, I was having fun up until this happened. Eight out of 10. Would have been a 10, but minus two for, well, you know what. So yeah, some of these products ain't so bad after all. And while some of them still suck, going forward, I'll make sure to not be so quick to judge things based on my first impression.